Hi Dee, how are you? Good Annie, how are you? Very well, thank you. We're very excited, aren't we? Because we've got Michelle coming along, or not coming along, but she's gonna, we're gonna show her Michelle's golf swing. Michelle is one of your students. She's now become one of our students because she's come to our Pro Golf Gals uh, school. That's right. She's been coming to you for a little while, hasn't she? Yes. Yes, she started with me um, in 2019. So we, we both want to thank Michelle for allowing us to do this. She's a thank you, Michelle. really fun person. Yep. We love Great Michelle. Student, fun yes. person. We do yeah. love Thank Michelle. you very much for letting us uh, play around with your golf swing on this video. <laughs> we appreciate it. <laughs> thank you for allowing me to play around with your golf swing for a couple of years. <laughs> so tell me about Michelle. She started off with you less than two years ago. Um, and was she like a raw beginner then? No, no, she wasn't a raw beginner, but um, I think she was off 30 odd. Uh, okay. And now she's come down into a 20. So okay, so she first good. came to you off a 30 handicap. So what were in, her... in mid 30s, about 35, 36. And did there. she have particular goals? Do you remember? Um, her goal was to be as good as she could be, and she was willing to put in her time and effort. So mm -hmm. naturally, the first thing I did with Michelle was uh, chat a lot. But no, the first thing I did was <laughs> do the bias. <laughs> to do the bias swing screening with her. So that was uh, yes. the first thing. So I do that with all the students. So we did all the screenings, and um, she has some very interesting biomechanics, like her wingspan is a lot shorter than her height. Her forearm is a little shorter than her upper arm. She's what they call an under golfer, meaning her right hand slightly under, her left mm -hmm. hand's a little stronger. She's got a center pivot and her hips, uh, the differentiation there is about 45 degrees. She's got a little bit of, um, she's got some uh, external shoulder rotation, which all this means is that she's going to have a flatter, uh, a flatter swing plane. So when I first saw her, she didn't have, she was going against what was natural for her. Her pivot was okay, but she was going against her natural biomechanics. Aha. Uh -huh. so that okay. sounded like a lot of rambling, but it's a lot of biomechanics. But when you use biomechanics, you make everything else simpler for the student. Like we're just giving more information than we possibly need to just then. Okay. Yeah, here we go. And so, so you can see the first thing in this first lesson, which was a half hour lesson, <laughs> 30 years, um, we worked with Michelle's posture because her posture was far too upright. So she was too upright and you'll see that, yeah. So we needed to get more forward tilt. We needed a little bit more knee bend because she wasn't able to use the ground and her um, wrists were arched too much. So you can see if we drew a line from the shaft, it goes right up through her right arm in one straight line. And we didn't really want that. So we got a little bit more forward tilt, a little bit more knee bend. Mm -hmm. That was the first thing we did and corrected her right hand grip, which was I a lot noticed, to do in time. Um, uh, I noticed I had a quick look at these before when we before I was getting ready and apologies for the quality of this video actually it's sort of found them in our archives basically haven't we but I did notice from this angle D what you're saying about the grip um, yeah the grip was it's, it's and really, also really strong isn't it and so. her hands were so this is a, a hands were we didn't do all of this in the first half hour but we also worked with her hand position not to have them so far ahead because when they're that yeah. far ahead, it was yeah. leading to a snatchy takeaway mm. and a, a, a sharp plane that was far too steep for Michelle. Yes, and, right and you've taken all the loft off the club as well. You can Absolutely. see that you're turning, yeah. with those hands so far forward, you're turning an eight iron into a six iron or something like that. Yeah. So you're going to struggle to get height on the shot. Plus, with that grip that she's got there, you're going to pull the ball left a lot, aren't you? Your direction's going to be a problem. Yeah, I think, yeah, um, we we didn't alter a grip in the first um, lesson. We mainly just worked with the posture. But over the time that I've had her, we have altered her grip to an mm. under grip now. Michelle also uses a two-handed baseball grip, which I have okay. no problems with people using that, so long okay. as they're using it the right way for them. Yes, um, yes. So, so what that means so our, is that your hands are all fingers are on the grip instead of the yep. overlapping or the interlocking. The interlocking. So that's, that's 10 finger baseball, which is fine for a lot of ladies, isn't it? 
abs absolutely. And, uh, and, and you can always change back to the other if you so want to. But I, I've had a couple of people who've got down to two and three using the two-handed grip. So mm. if it works for you and you're doing what's biomechanically sound, stick with it. So that was the first lesson just in her setup. So you can see here, her setup is her hands are much Gee, better. She looks now so than much her. more confident, doesn't she? Yeah. So her hands are not way ahead. Her posture is yeah. much more athletic. She's not snatching it away. She's got a nice little push back. Yeah, look at that left, left hand roll. grip. It's so much better, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. So, the, and the posture just looks so much more athletic. So, so much more powerful as well. Let's go back to her behind um, from and have a little look at it. Wow, that setup yeah, looks so, so even much from behind, better. It's so much better. Yeah. She just uh, fell off that, it uh, a little bit, but yeah. That, that well, she knew there, it. Look at that. So much better. Look at those lovely angles. Isn't it? You can see the knee bend, more knee yeah. bend, yeah. more tilt forward, um, and the arms hanging much better. It's not now you're now you're a little concave around the wrist there. It's not just one stiff straight line. Yeah. So that she looks so much better in the posture. Mm. And so, so if this you have, is her, uh, I know it's very blurry, I apologise for that. I'm not sure what's gone wrong here, but you can see yeah. right there though, can't you do that? Um, that's her shaft plane. Yeah, so her shaft plane here is going sort of uh, higher than mid-torso. So if we put a line from her hip and then from the top of her shoulder, you can see Michelle's shaft is higher than midway. Now, because her wingspan is considerably shorter than her um, her height, her shaft needs to be closer to her hip plane. So more um, flatter than that, isn't it? Much flatter than much that. Much more needs flatter. To be much flatter than that. Yeah. Um, and her forearm was shorter than her upper arm, a bit like Sergio Garcia. And therefore, she it, her plane continues on that. She doesn't lift up. She can even come a little flatter. That's on the second part of the backswing. Um, and you'll notice if we take her further now to the top of the swing. Um, I don't she, know she's if just I can, much, but... uh, Don't worry, but she's, yeah, there. see how she just lifts up and she just can't afford to do that yeah, lift up yeah, part. Yeah. So her whole backswing's a bit steep, which then meant that her downswing was going to be very steep or, yeah. you know, how we call it, over the top and things like that. So you can see then she came over the top and then swung way to the left, which causes a slice nice. or a hawk or just, yeah, yeah, you know. Yeah. So. Now, if we have a look at her now, <laughs> that was yeah, that, those bushes there are very so see so see um oh, hang on hang on was, i just gotta we, that's there we right. go. <laughs> we're working so with see, um, some not great technology here aren't we d but uh anyway yeah. so i'll see if i can stop it on the way back yeah so okay. that now yeah see if you just if we took a one less she is much flatter one frame less her okay. shaft is much much flatter yeah. and yeah. that suits her Michelle's only problem is her, uh, you know, people, amateurs always want to tell each other things, uh, which are generally wrong. So she just needs to be careful not to listen to other people. And she won't because she's our students are very good. So she knows where she needs to be. So, yeah. but, you know, a lot of people will say, oh, you're swinging too flat, but that's only because they don't. And see, even when she came down there, her exit now is more extended. Yeah, down the straight through line. to the target now, yep. isn't it? Yeah. And um... so... Um, and that wasn't her best shot. You know, those bushes, that hole is pretty frightening for ladies. You were hit it over beautifully, though. So what have we got any results from Michelle? So she's since she came to the school a little while ago, and, and I know yep. she's in, definitely improved. You can see in those two videos how much more oh. she has improved. And but. if we had a look at her downswing on the way down on that video we just did, her downswing shaft plane is so much flatter than it was uh, originally, mm -hmm. and her extension through is better. She actually looks like a totally different golfer. Um, yeah. And so she's probably taken 10 shots off her handicap or more and is now shooting really quite consistently, you know, like she doesn't have a 40-pointer and then a 20-pointer. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and, and she just loves her golf and she's just yeah. uh, she's, I really you can tell those beautiful. front on ones let me just see if I can um put the two front ons together um because that's creative of you I might not be able to do it until afterwards but um it's being a shame able to we be can't able to see be... how much more dynamic she is front yeah. on than she was before 
So, um, so with the yeah, with, with with the apps, Annie, that I the Skillist app I use for my students, I can actually show Michelle that in a double feature, like even during the lesson, show okay. people how they were at the beginning of the lesson and then at the end of the lesson. But to see it yeah. over a two year period is like amazing. Yeah. So yeah, that app's oh, a really good app. Uh, if somebody wanted to get uh, a lesson from you, there's a fantastic package that you've got going through Skillist at the moment, isn't there? It gives you like unlimited access to you for a whole month it does it's unlimited access not totally to me totally <laughs> it gives so unlimited access <laughs> for, they can come for, into your you home know? they can wash your shower yeah. no. <laughs> no, it's you cook them dinner to me. i don't cook and do all that stuff no um it's access for you know people can send through their videos i'll analyze it um yeah also what we can do is um I'll send them the information what they can do, but we do need to use the Skillist app so that it can do voiceovers and clear. So all you have to do is diagrams. email you at Denise and at DeniseHutton.com, and that's two N's, Denise at DeniseHutton.com. And then you can go from there, and Denise will show you how to download the app. It's really easy. You just video yourself, and then Denise will take you through the process, and you can improve your game too. And the biomechanics is so great because it simplifies down the way you should swing for your body type um, and then you're just making it easier life's so much easier when you're swinging within you know your size and shape it's it's amazing any how much easier it makes it for the student um, and also it's just important because everyone's unique and we need to uh, let people be who they are basically mm. yeah, yeah absolutely all right so denise at denisehutton.com and you can get some biomechanics and some lessons from denise as well that's if you can't get to see me directly. <laughs> Denise is in Sydney. In so if you, if you want to see her in Sydney, then you can get the, the full live experience, <laughs> full access to her live. <laughs> oh, dear. Well, thanks, Steve. That was fun. And thanks, Michelle, yeah. so much for yes, letting us thanks. play around thanks, with your Michelle. golf school. Oh, and don't forget, Dee, we've got a golf school coming up in Sydney, or right. a, a north of Sydney, an hour's drive north of Sydney. We've got... Uh, april we've got one in august actually they're filling up really quickly but email yep, may. us um yep, may. and may and may. Yes. may we've got one and we've got we're excited because we're going interstate as well not for a golf school but for a pro golf girls escape tour, tour. yeah so golf to the gold holiday slash tour so winter. up to july up to july. july gold coast ah, escape do... the winter here yeah a week of golf on the gold coast with the pro golf girls how fun is that going to be we think so. Anyway. It's us in reality. <laughs> so if you want any details on any of that, go to progolfgals.com.au or just email either Denise or I. So um, we'll put the details down in the link below. But you've got Denise at denisehutton.com or Anne at fixmygolfswing.com.au. Um, we haven't got a Pro Golf Gals email just yet, but we're working on that. Got a website though, haven't we? We do have the website. Yes, progolfgals.com.au. So it's only a matter of time before we have the email address as well. <laughs> <laughs> We're getting there. We're getting, getting there. there. Bye. Bye for now. Thanks for viewing. Look forward to seeing you all. Good luck with your golf. Bye. So, dear, all I can see is sort of the top half of your face at the moment. Oh, sorry, I was reading. Can you tilt it so it's not just the top half of your head? Yeah. I've got my pro golf gals. Should I get mine? Yes, I think so. Chances of a thing right here. That's very good. <laughs> mine looks more orange than yours, doesn't it? Yours looks a kind of a pretty pinky orange mine just looks really orange that's must be the lot oh there's mine's getting more orange <laughs> mine changes when i get closer to the camera <laughs> all right are we ready how's the hair yep. yes we're looking good you don't need glasses hey i'm just being vain and, and